case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2000 Iowa Supreme Court case, Heritage Bank v. Lovett, Heritage Bank sued Culligan Water Conditioning to recover unauthorized funds taken from an ATM using a card issued to Donald and Luella Buell. The bank claimed that Culligan negligently hired the employee who had stolen the card from the Buells and withdrew around $10,000 from various ATMs. The court initially rejected Heritage's claim, stating that Culligan had no duty to protect the bank from the employee's criminal actions. Heritage then appealed, arguing that it should have the right to take over Culligan's rights on the Buell account since they had recovered all but $1.50 of the loss. However, the court ruled against Heritage once more, concluding that the bank could not claim subrogation to the Buell account. Ultimately, the court affirmed the district court's judgment, determining that Heritage Bank had to rely on common law, which granted them no rights as a subrogee. The decision underscored the principle that a bank cannot claim more rights than the person who actually suffered the loss, reinforcing the limits of banks' abilities to pursue companies in cases of unauthorized transactions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 